Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of who is currently thinking of you and why. So as per usual, the timestamps will be in the description bar below. So let's just get started here. <clears throat> okay, starting off with Aries. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first. Oh, okay, what did it roll on? Uh, it was Leo. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> So let's see if we could figure out their zodiac sign first, and then we can jump into tarot. Okay, so we have Taurus, and it did roll on Leo the first time. It slipped out of my hand. And then we have Pisces. Aquarius. And Capricorn. Okay. So that could obviously be uh, the sign of the person that is thinking of you, their sun, moon, rising, potentially Venus. So why is this person thinking of you? So we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, this person is thinking of you because they want clarity on a situation. They may be in between worlds at this time, uh, you know, trying to make a decision, but they're wanting a breakthrough in a current dynamic. It may even be someone who is at a standstill with you right now. So they're wanting it, wanting to put an end to a complacent energy. This could also be an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, why is this person thinking of Aries? King of Wands. Well, they're very attracted to you, but I do feel like this is someone who wants to nurture you or nurture this connection here. We have the Three of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. This is someone who wants to celebrate something with you, possibly share some sort of good news, but this could also be someone who wants to take you out and they're observing how to offer you their cup of love here with the Ace of Cups. So very focused on offering you their cup of love, very focused on emotionally confessing to you. And I will say they're very attracted to you with that King of Wands energy. Four of Cups. This person may wonder if you are as interested in them as they are in you. Bottom of the deck, yeah, the Emperor. This person's thinking of you and what they feel is you're very hard to read Aries. So even if you're communicating with this person, they may feel like you have very <clears throat> you have some sort of guard a guard up at this time or you are kind of like masking your emotions where you're giving them enough to work with, but they may want a little more here. They do find you a bit difficult to read, but they feel like you exude a very type A personality. You could be someone who is in a position of power, like an authoritative figure. But with the Four of Cups, they're definitely questioning if you feel the same way that they do. King of Cups could definitely be a water sign. If that's not the case, guys, this is the energy that they're embodying. So this is someone who's operating from a space of emotions. I feel like there's definitely um, an energy of them wanting to be honest about their emotions and tell you how they feel. So what this person wants right now or why they're thinking of you is because they want to have a heart to heart conversation with you. Okay, so what is the King of Wands? Okay, what is the King of Wands? All right, there's way too many cards there. Clear and concise, please. What is the King of Wands? There we go, Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person will be communicating with you. Maybe for some of you, you're already speaking to this person, but their question right now is, you know, if you are as passionate about them, if you are as excited about this connection as they are. And I see that this person will continue keeping a conversation with you, right? Eight of Wands is continuous conversation, very speedy, could even be passionate at that. We have the uh, Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so for some of you, this person is viewing you as being a bit composed or hard to read because you've recently went through an emotional loss. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, things are working out in your favor or so this person feels. So they're wanting a change with you, but they're also wanting to be patient with you because with the Five of Cups and Three of Swords, they're viewing you as someone who is still focused on some sort of emotional loss in the past, whether it's with them or whether it's elsewhere. Um, Four of Cups. I also feel like this person definitely enjoys speaking to you. 
Yeah, we have the Chariot and we have the Sun card. So for some of you, this could be a Cancer or a Leo. But what I see here, guys, is this person's very determined to move to a very optimistic space with you. So they feel like in order to do that, they need to express their emotions to you, which I see them doing with the Eight of Wands. And you make this person very happy. I see this as an individual who is being patient with you, but they're also very determined to move things forward. Like they don't want things to be at a complacent space and they may feel that way right now because we did see the two of swords. Um, what is the King of Cups? Queen of Cups, wow. Yeah, they definitely feel like you guys are a true pair match. It's almost like they, like they're having a hard time reading you, but they know you have a lot of love to give or you're a very nurturing individual. They know that behind, you know, you, your guards here, you are someone who is extremely caring, extremely sensitive, and they feel like you guys would work well together. You have a way of understanding this person, and they may feel like they have a way of understanding you even if, you know, you guys aren't directly speaking to each other. I see a very deep emotional connection forming and a lot of communication taking place what is the eight of wands nine of wands yeah it, it's almost like this person does have emotions for you they are speaking to you but they're wanting a bit more nine of wands could be a bit of a guarded energy or you know on your end aries you could be meeting this person after you've gone through some sort of an emotional loss where you're trying to take things slow but i do feel like um, this could also be read as with the Nine of Wands and Eight of Wands. You're receiving communication from someone that you had blocked or you have protected your energy from them and they're now reaching out to you to be honest about their emotions. What is the sun? Like for some of you, this person can sense that like as much as they're coming in with a new energy or expressing their self to you, they can sense that you're still on the fence about the situation or guarded towards them. Yeah, Page of Cups, that's someone who is still who has emotions for you, someone who is crushing on you, and they're definitely wanting things to work out in their favor with the Wheel of Fortune. They want a change in this dynamic, so as much as they're being patient with you, they are making it clear that they're wanting more. What is the Queen of Cups? Could also be children in this dynamic, or an age gap. Yeah, the Queen of Cups is the Six of Pentacles, being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this person is coming in to reciprocate the energy that you have given them in the past. It may be someone you have history with. We have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. But with the Six of Pentacles, guys, that's someone who wants equal give and take. They want to treat you in a fair manner. So I see this person proving that they have emotions for you through their actions because Six of Pentacles is more of a practical energy. And they may be trying to assist you at this time. doesn't necessarily have to be about finances, but they could just be thinking about how to add to your life in a positive way. Okay, guys, so moving on to Taurus. Okay, Taurus, so let's try to figure out their zodiac sign first, and then we will clarify the energies with tarot. So who is thinking of Taurus right now? So we have Aquarius, so it could be an Aquarian that's thinking of you. We have Scorpio. Aries. Virgo. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Taurus? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, okay. They can view you as very stable, very abundant, you know, enjoying your singlehood. Split the deck and we have the star, wow. And we have the Empress behind the Nine of Pentacles as well. Well, this person's thinking of you because they feel like you possess very rare qualities. They feel like you're a catch with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, and with the star here, they are. They feel like they have either like manifested someone like you or this is what they have wished for. Okay, this could also be, um, so another earth sign like yourself, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or it could be an Aquarian. Why is this person thinking of Taurus? The Empress, because they see a lot of growth 
<clears throat> because they see a lot of potential um, in you in being with you as well. Like they may feel like you guys could build an empire together. They may feel like you guys can, you know, establish a very stable connection. They also hold you on a very high pedestal. I will say very, very attracted to you and they love the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress, the way that you act, the way that you, you know, portray yourself. They really do um, admire you is the best word to use here. And we have the nine of wands and the eight of wands um, on the bottom of the deck. So this could be someone who is a little bit guarded or they have some sort of guard up, but they are communicating with you. So they're opening up to you little by little. They think very highly of you. I will say that with the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles. They feel like you're very stable, nurturing, resourceful. This person may also admire something that you do for work. I will say when this person thinks of you, they think of you as commitment material, someone that they could spend forever with, someone they can build a life with. Um, they may also be fantasizing about how it would be to have a family with you. And for those of you that have children of their own, they feel like you're a really good parent with the Empress. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. This person's definitely observing you. When they think of you, they are figuring out what is going to work when it comes to a connection versus what is not. This may even be someone they, that you have history with, but they want to do things differently or approach the situation differently. What is the Empress? Seven of Cups. Okay, so this person is viewing you as someone who has choices in love or someone who is highly sought after, right? They do hold you on a high pedestal, but they feel like you're very attractive. You have a lot to offer. With the Seven of Cups, this person may be wondering if you have, you know, made a choice or if you are like casually dating. They just view you as someone who is maybe exploring your options. They're not really sure, um, you know, how you feel or what you're like. You haven't made a firm decision yet is how they're viewing you. Okay, now with the Seven of Cups, this person is also thinking about like all the possibilities when it comes to a connection with you, like how things could turn out, how things, uh, you know, could work out between the both of you. We have the Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So this could be someone who is now coming out of the cold or coming out of, you know, a period of healing from some sort of an emotional loss. We have the Queen of Swords. So this is someone who's going to make their intentions very clear. But they like it's it's like they know that you have options or they view you as someone who um, like receives a lot of attention. It's almost like they're not really belittling their self, but they're making sure that they that you make a choice or they're going to make it clear that they want more with you. So this could either be the early stages of a bond or this is someone who's trying to reconcile with you, but they're not really sure how you're feeling about that. There is emotional confusion present with the seven of cups. What is the Queen of Pentacles? The Hanged Man. Yeah, this person spends a lot of time thinking about you in solitude. They're also trying to view your perspective on them. When they think of you, they actually wonder what you think of them. Like they want to know how you feel, Taurus, your perception of them, um, what you think when it when it comes to like have, being in a connection with them. They're very concerned or very um, curious, I should say, about your perspective on love, on, on how you feel towards them. I feel like, yes, you clicked on this reading to see, you know, who is thinking of you and, and they are thinking of you, but they're also wondering like what you're thinking of them. This could be a Pisces. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this person could want um, like express to you that they've went through some sort of a difficult ending or something that was burdening them. But with the Eight of Pentacles, they will also let you know that they're a very fair person or they're willing to put forth the practical effort. But there may be some sort of questions that they want to ask you, again, because they're still confused about what's going on or where this connection is headed. So even if you're communicating with this person, maybe they feel like the intentions aren't clear. What is the Seven of Pentacles? five of wands. There may also be some sort of conflict in their external environment that they're currently observing. So it's like they could be observing what they need to release right now or who they need to cut ties with. They may feel like they have a lot of responsibilities or there are like contradicting opinions around them that they're not fond of. 
Queen of Cups in the Tower. Yeah, some of you will receive an emotional confession from this person very abruptly. This is someone who definitely wants your attention or they will say something that will grab your attention. And with the Queen of Cups, um, you know, this person, like you guys could already be communicating, but what might kind of catch you off guard here is how open they are uh, when it comes to their emotions. For you, what is the Seven of Cups? Four of Pentacles. If you sense that this person is holding back, it's because they're not really sure where this connection is headed. This may also be someone who is currently dealing with some sort of issues when it comes to their stability. Four of Pentacles and Five of Wands. There's something going on, um, you know, pertaining to their stability and in their external environment that is in the way of them pursuing this connection fully. So they may be trying to clear something up or tie, you know, up loose ends before they fully, you know, invest in the situation here. But they're observing how to make the changes with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what is the hanged man? Page of Pentacles, yeah. This person wants to, um, you know, offer you their pentacle here. They want to reach out to you. But I will say this could be someone who is younger than you. But the pro that I see to this energy is it's someone who's very open-minded and willing to learn. They learn a lot from you, but they may also ask you a lot of questions so they can learn more about you. And like, you know, in terms of your love language or how to treat you in the correct manner, that sort of thing. Seven of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who wants a big, like to begin something new with you. This is someone who wants to offer you, you know, a stable new beginning. But with the Seven of Wands, you may find that they are a bit defensive or they are um, kind of like... The best word is defensive or, or you know, um, a bit guarded because with the four of pentacles and five of wands, there's something they're trying to wrap up or something that they're trying to cope with on their own and they don't want to project that onto the bond here. So it's like when this person speaks to you, you can sense that there's something else going on or something that's maybe bothering them that's causing them to be a little bit, you know, cautious. Um, five of wands. Yeah, ace of wands. Yeah, this person definitely wants... Um, you know, a new start with you. You make them very excited. They see a lot of potential growth in this situation. And I see them making it very clear. I just also feel like they're trying to work on their stability or they are trying to um, let go of pe people that essentially cause them some sort of conflict in their external environment. Okay, so moving on to Gemini. Alrighty, Gemini. So Let's start off by seeing if we can figure out their zodiac sign and then we can dive into tarot. So it could be a cancer that has you on their mind. Uh, we have Libra. Sagittarius. Gemini. So it could be another Gemini like yourself. Oh, sorry guys, I dropped the... Okay. And we have Taurus. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Gemini? Could be a Scorpio. We have the Tower. Judgment. So this, this person feels like they've had, like there has been an abrupt change in the dynamic between the both of you. They also feel like something is coming to an end here. That's why they have you on their mind. This may also be someone who feels like you have undergone some sort of a transformation or you've made a major change when it comes to your, you know, life here. Okay, let's see. All righty. So why is this person thinking of Gemini? because they miss you with the five of cups. There's an energy of longing here, but it's definitely someone that you've moved away from because they're viewing you as back turned towards the situation, potentially even viewing you as someone who has an armor around your heart. This is someone who's focused on the past with you, but they do sense that something is finally closing or something is coming to an end. And they are, you know, again, dwelling in the past, but they're missing you. Okay, could be a water sign. Seven of Wands, okay. 
This person's thinking of you because they can sense that you're very defensive towards them. They can sense that you no longer trust them also. Okay, there could be a bit of animosity between you and this individual right now with the Five of Cups and Seven of Wands coming out. And with the star card on the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Pentacles, this person could be wishing to receive an opportunity to move closer to you or offer you something stable. There's more wishing and hoping going on, I will say that. Yeah, five of pentacles, five of cups. This person feels like an outsider in your life. So this person could be thinking of you a lot because they're not speaking to you right now, but they still are curious about what you're up to. Um, this person could also be going through some sort of a financial issue um, with the five of pentacles. That could be like a mentality of lack, or it could quite literally be where you've went through a financial loss and you know, you're feeling like you're not at where you want to be in terms of your stability. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the death card. Yeah, they're sensing something is coming to an end. So it's almost like this person's thinking of you and they're trying to accept an ending that has occurred or is about to occur, depending on, you know, the timeline here. So what is the five of cups? Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you. They feel an urgency to speak to you. Um, very impulsive. It's because they miss you. They're longing for you. But with the Knight of Swords, it could be very unexpected when they do communicate with you. We have the Hierophant and we have the Devil uh, behind the Hierophant. So this person feels like they hid something from you. So whether this is like something that they were coping with on their own, or it could be someone who quite literally hid the fact that they were married or in another commitment. Okay, we have Capricorn energy as well as Taurus, but they feel an urgency to communicate with you because, uh, you know, they feel like something is ending, but they also are viewing you as extremely guarded or not wanting to hear from them right now. They do sense the tension in the air is what I'm getting at. What is the Seven of Wands? The King of Swords, yeah. They feel like you've made something very clear. More importantly, you've set very clear boundaries with them. Um, and it seems like this is someone that you've recently separated from. So something like, like the ending is still very fresh on their mind because I see them being upset about the ending, but a part of them feels anxious. Like they need to talk to you and they need to talk to you now. That's why I do say that there's an urgency to speak to you. We have the two of cups. So they're still feeling very connected to you and operating from a space of emotions. What is the five of pentacles? The Three of Swords. Yeah. Bottom of the deck here, the Five of Swords. They're very conflicted. This person could be conflicted about, you know, um, their words towards you. So, like, the Five of Swords could be a conflict. So, if there's a conflict that took place between the both of you, they're replaying the scenario in their mind. Or they wish that they didn't say something that they already said to you. Like, an energy of wanting to take back their words here. Because they're realizing that their words cut deep with the Three of Swords. They're realizing that it caused you a lot of pain. What's the Knight of Swords? Five of Wands. They don't want to give up on the situation. I see this as someone who wants to like put up a fight, like in terms of, you know, speak to you or try to argue to for you to see their point here. Because with the Five of Wands, they are wanting to, um, you know, fight for this connection. They are wanting to show you that they still care because there's an energy of them, you know, missing you. But again, a part of them feels like you have your mind made up here. Um, yeah, a lot of missing and energy of feeling very nostalgic with the uh, Six of Cups. Um, now, with the Five of Wands as well as the Knight of Swords, this person may feel like they spoke too soon on something which raised some sort of a conflict between the both of you. Like there's something about the communication towards you that they regret is what I'm persistently getting. What is the King of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. They want a new beginning here. You know, we have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands. Yeah. They want a new beginning here, but it's like... They don't know how to open this door or they don't know how to go about it because as much as they want to speak to you, how they're viewing you is someone who has your mind made up and you also have set very clear boundaries. They feel like if they were to communicate with you, you would stand your ground on something that you believe in. So like, for example, if you gain clarity on this person or this situation, they feel like that is what you believe. There's no turning around. So they're viewing you as someone who is at the point of no return. What is the three of swords?
Four of Cups, yeah. They doubt that you still care or that you will be emotionally invested here. They feel like what happened in the past with the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is still affecting you. So when they think of you, they know that you're still frustrated with them about the past um, or more so the hurt that was caused in the past. So this person feels very stuck in their emotions as well as their thoughts right now. Okay, so moving on to Cancer. Okay, Cancer. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first. So it could be a Scorpio that has you on their mind. Could be a Pisces. We have Gemini. And Aries. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Cancer? nine of pentacles because they feel like you're a catch yeah they're viewing you in a very beautiful um also a very abundant energy like they like the way that you carry yourself they also feel like you're very independent uh split the deck we have the judgment so they may want to change in the current dynamic like this may be someone that you're speaking to but they're wanting to change something in this dynamic or you are someone that they admire look up to and it's making them want to create a change within their self okay so this could be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn or a scorpio Okay, um, why is this person thinking of cancer? Two of pentacles, bottom of the deck here, the seven of swords, the sun. This person may be thinking of you because they feel exposed for some reason. Because we have the Seven of Swords, which is sneaky behavior. Behind that, we have the Sun card. So something is being illuminated to you. Ace of Swords. It's like this person feels like you've gained clarity about them or about the situation with them. And they feel a bit exposed or like their covers have been blown. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles here, they are wanting to, uh, you know, put forth some sort of effort. But it's someone who is juggling. This may even be someone who has a lot on their plate right now, but they feel like um, you're like you're still on their mind. But they feel you figured something out, like on your own, or you've gained clarity about a situation or about their true colors. Hmm. Okay. Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, Page of Pentacles. Okay. It's very interesting because this person still has emotions for you, but the way that they're wanting to approach you is offer by offering you something small that has the potential to grow into something larger. Page of Cups could be like a crush energy or a small love offer. Okay. You could be younger than this person. The Fool. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Empress. Wow. This person feels like you're moving forward. It's like you're focused on something new. So it's almost like they feel like you are being silent about the moves that you're making or you're moving towards your happiness, but you're not really verbalizing this. I also feel like what's hidden from you is this person is still trying to figure out how to work with you with the Three of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. What is the Two of Pentacles? <clears throat> the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. This is someone who feels hurt by the past with you, but they're still willing to fight for this connection or work on this connection. Although it's interesting because they're viewing you as moving away, but silently, like it's, it's someone who wants to work with you, but they feel like you're either working with someone else or you're moving towards commitment or your happiness, but you're not really verbalizing this or showing them any signs right now. Yeah, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, King of Wands. They really do have a lot of emotions for you, but they view you as your back turned towards the situation. So this may be an individual who wants to make something up to you, but they're not sure if you're going to accept their offer. What is the Page of Cups? Four of 
Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who is missing you. They feel like they messed up a dynamic or they ruined something in the past here. They're wanting to fight for this connection, but they're also feeling very exhausted when it comes to figuring out what you're up to. Because with the High Priestess, they feel like you're being silent with them or there's something in particular you're not telling them. Uh, what's the Fool card? Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands. It's like they have a lot to say to you after some sort of an ending or some sort of a betrayal with the Ten of Swords. And with the Five of Wands, that is someone who feels like there is competition around. Like... This person may be jumping to assumptions because they're not really receiving any clarity from you. But with the Fool and the Six of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to reciprocate the energy that you've given them in the past. This is someone who wants to prove their self to you by putting forth the practical effort. But with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords, they may feel like you're very exhausted by a betrayal in the past. Or you feel like this uh, bond here comes with a lot of drama. Like this person could feel like they kind of unloaded all their stress onto you, Cancer, during the time of this bond, or they were going through something difficult, but kind of expected you to tell them everything was going to be okay. But I see a lot of projection here, like projecting what's going on in their environment to you or onto the bond that they had with you. And now they're realizing that, you know, there's a lot of regret because of that. So what is the Nine of Wands? Yeah, Eight of Wands. Some of you could be communicating with this person um, as you're watching my read here, but it will. But it's coming in after a period of them really thinking about the situation and feeling guarded. A part of them, like there, there's something here that they're insecure about, or something here that is making them insecure more so pertaining to like um, that that Seven of Swords and that Sun card energy. Like they feel like you know something and they're not sure how you figured that out, and so it's making them feel a bit guarded, or it's making them feel like like a bit exposed is the best way for me to explain it. So when they communicate with you, you will kind of sense that there's something here that's making them feel uneasy. Um, what is the Five of Cups? Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may have known this person since childhood, or it's an energy of they feel very free around you. They feel like they can be, you know, authentically be their, be their self. Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, King of Cups. This person may feel like, uh, you know, it's a case of tables have turned or the choice is yours. Because they're viewing you in the Nine of Pentacles and King of Cups energy, but we have the Lovers there and the Seven of Cups, which is this person may feel like you have choices in love or, or the ball is in your court right now. I will say, Cancer, this person feels like something that you figured out about them is giving you leverage in this situation. That's just what I'm picking up on. What is the Six of Pentacles? Four of Swords. Okay. So this person may also feel like you are currently healing, you know, from the past year or you're healing from some sort of an emotional loss. But the main thing that I'm getting is they're very curious about you, but they feel like you're not really showing your cards right now or you're very hard to read because high priestesses, it could be silent treatment. Or if you're communicating with this person, they feel like you're only telling them things on like a surface level. And with the high priestess, you could have also figured something out through your intuition, which is shock, which is shocking to this person. We have the three of wands, the ace of swords, and the moon. Yeah, you were able to, it's like they feel you received a breakthrough in this situation, or you were able to figure out something that was in the dark for a while, something that they purposely kept hidden from you. And I will say with the six of wands and the three of swords, yeah, seven of swords, they're feeling guilty, but they're wanting your attention. Like they're wanting to speak to you. They're wanting you to pay attention to what they have to say here is uh, what I'm picking up on. Okay, so moving on to Leo. Okay, Leo. So who is thinking of Leo right now? Let's see. So it could be a Virgo that has you on their mind. We have Capricorn. Scorpio. Capricorn again, and Virgo again. Okay, so let's see. Why is this person thinking of Leo? So 
So we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck and we have the King of Wands. Well, this person is very attracted to you, but this may be someone who wants to prove something to you or provide for you with that King of Pentacles energy. Let's see. Why is this person thinking of Leo? They're thinking of you because you cut ties with them or you've set very clear boundaries here. With the moon, they could also be thinking of you because they feel very uncertain about what the future holds. Six of wands, eight of wands. Yeah, some of you could be communicating with this person, but they are being very intentional with what they say to you because they want to grab your attention or they want to um, stand out from the rest here. Six of wands is like this person wanting you to pay attention to them. So it's like, look at me, Leo, you know, pick me, Leo kind of thing. Um, and with the moon here, it's like, there's some sort of uncertainty about the future. So when they think about the future of this connection, they may feel like a lot is hidden. The moon could also be um, suppressed emotions. Let's see. The six of cups. Yeah, this, this is someone who's missing you. They also feel like there's some sort of innocence to this connection. Like not only do they feel very connected to you, they feel like they can just be their self. There's no pretending. Everything flows between the both of you and nothing feels forced. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Behind that, we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, this person wants to confess to you how they feel about you and they're thinking about how to go about that. Because Hanged Man is more so like, um, you know, obviously thinking, pondering, but it's also like um, viewing things from a different perspective. So this person could be wondering how you will respond to what they're going to tell you. And with the Ace of Cups, it's someone who wants to open up about their emotions. They have a lot of emotions for you. could be a Sagittarius, but they feel like you guys work very well together. It's something about you bringing this person a lot of peace and they want things to move forward, move to the next level here. But what's interesting is they're either viewing you as someone who has cut ties with them or you have very clear boundaries. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun, the ten of wands, the eight of pentacles. Okay, so you do make this person very happy and they're wanting a change here. With the ten of wands and the eight of pentacles, they may feel like there's a lot of effort that they have to put forward or it's going to be a while or it's going to take a while for them to prove to you that they're they have made the necessary changes here because eight of pentacles is them wanting to work on this situation but ten of wands is like something may have felt burdensome to you in the past here or they're viewing you as someone um, that they have to prove their self to you know something like it's not an overnight process i just have to consistently put forth the effort so that i can prove to leo that i do feel connected to them or i do want something more because, you know, they're viewing you in the Queen of Swords energy, so they may feel like you're there's something here that's making you feel uneasy about the situation, or you're just in a very, like, clear-cut energy. It's like, you know, maybe you've told this person, like, I'll just, I'll, I'll believe you when I see it, or, you know, you have to prove yourself to me, that sort of thing. Um, what is the Queen of Swords? A star. Yeah, this person feels like you're like on the outside, you're very stern or you're very clear cut. But behind that, you have a lot of rare qualities. You have a very healing, uh, you know, nurturing nature to you. But it's like they need to kind of unlock that side, if you will. They feel like this is a very, rare, very rare opportunity, like to get to know you or to be in a connection with you. They also feel like you're someone that they've wished for or like you are their dream like partner here. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon, the six of wands, and the four of wands. What's hidden from you is this person is looking for a commitment. They are wanting a commitment with you to be very successful. Even if it's fairly new, Leo, um, I feel like this is someone, or even if, if you do have history with them, but they're coming in to reconcile, with the four of wands, they have marriage on their mind. They want to be in a commitment with you, and they want the outcome to be successful. With the moon, they're doing a lot of thinking, but they're also like keeping their emotions to their self. But I will say when they think about the future with you, there are certain aspects that um, create some sort of fear in them or they, they feel like there are certain like illusions that they can't see past right now. What is the Six of Cups? Knight of Wands. 
So this is possibly the reason why they feel like they need to prove their self to you. In the past, they could have been very inconsistent or they may feel like you view them as someone who has been inconsistent with them for a while and now they're wanting to change that. Knight of Wands could also let me know that this is someone who's very spontaneous, like they like to travel, but it's about, you know, proving to you that they're here to stay because bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles. So they definitely do want to work with you. Um, and I see this person coming in fairly quickly. Maybe some of you are already, you know, speaking to this person and behind the three of pentacles, we have the four of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. This person may be working on their stability before they offer you a commitment. With the Four of Pentacles, there could this could be like, um, you know, trying to find a new job, trying to find a second source of income, but they definitely have commitment on their mind, Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person feels you're making them view things in a different light, or you're making them view things much differently than they always have. Um... This could also be a person who feels like they were only looking for like casual dating or they were just, you know, used to being very inconsistent with people. But again, something about you is making them view things differently. What is the temperance? You make them very excited. I will say that. Queen of Cups bottom of the deck here we have the eight of swords yeah they find you to be very nurturing but i feel like the main thing i'm getting here is someone who wants to express their emotions to you leo like they want to be honest about how they feel um and what they want for the future i just see that there could be like um issues pertaining to their stability that they're working on but with the eight of swords and the ace of wands ace of cups this is not really a negative energy like they feel mentally stuck but it's more so like um, they're feeling nervous about a new beginning or, uh, you know, being open about their emotions. And with the hanged man, they may be thinking about how you will respond to this. So they're thinking like, if I were to confess my emotions to Leo, how will they respond? Will they feel the same way? Will they, um, you know, will it ruin the dynamic between the both of us? So they are feeling a bit nervous. What is the star card? Yeah, Eight of Wands. So some of you are already speaking to this person here. Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, Five of Cups. Yeah. So they may, like, there's an energy of this person making it very clear that you are special to them. But I do see that, like, <clears throat> as much as they want a commitment, there's there's not really an energy of rushing a commitment, Leo. I feel like it's more so, like, um, going with the flow, but they know that there's potential here. They also feel like you may have your guard up because of your past or because you know of some sort like a lack of trust here so it's like they're viewing you as someone where you know what you want and they know that they could see a commitment with you but they're also trying to take it day by day if that makes sense like i don't see this person applying so much pressure or forcing anything um knight of wands yeah knight of swords and bottom of the deck here, we have the Five of Cups. And behind that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely, and behind that Nine of nine of Pentacles. So they don't want to be on their own. They're definitely thinking about a commitment. But with the Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, I feel like this is possibly the early stages of the bond where you guys are like getting to know each other. Maybe you guys are on the phone a lot or you guys are texting each other and they're enjoying the process. Like I don't see someone rushing the process, but they are curious to get to know you. As of now or, or so far, their perception of you is you are very kind hearted, but you have like a tough exterior or like like a hard shell around your uh beautiful heart <laughs> your heart of gold uh your heart of gold leo so what is the queen of cups five of swords okay bottom of the deck here we have the eight of swords yeah there's a lot of like mental conflict when it comes to expressing how they feel but this may be someone who's like okay i don't want to overthink the situation with leo i want to take it one day at a time here um, with the Temperance, Queen of Cups, and the Five of Swords, they're also trying to like maintain the peace between the both of you. They're not, they don't want to like create any any sort of conflict. But I do feel like with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, um, Eight of Swords being on the bottom of the deck here, um, this is more so what's going on in their mind. Like they're trying their best not to overthink the situation or like jump to conclusions or, you know, that sort of thing. It's more so like taking it one day at a time, getting to know you better. Um, let's clarify the Five of Swords yeah justice like they want things to be very fair between the both of you they want equal give and take 
And I just feel like there, it's kind of like that worry or that nervous kind of energy when you're first speaking to someone, whether it's fair, whether it's a new connection or it's someone that you haven't spoke to in a while, they are feeling a bit nervous at this time is what I sense. Okay, so moving on to Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So let's see if we can figure out this person's zodiac sign first, and then we can dive into tarot. So we have Taurus. We have Sagittarius. We have Gemini. Taurus again. And Libra. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Virgo? Eight of Swords, okay, split the deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups behind the Eight of Swords. So this could be someone that is fairly new, but with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like there's they're feeling very stuck when it comes to uh, a commitment with you. So this could be someone who's desiring commitment, but the Eight of Swords could be when someone's like up in their mind or... Uh, you know, thinking more than doing. So let's see here. Why is this person thinking of Virgo? Because they want to work with you. This could be someone who you've met at work also, Virgo. But with the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles behind that, this is someone who wants to be open and honest about their emotions. I do see that. And with the Ace of Pentacles, they um, want to offer you a stable new beginning with the Queen of Pentacles also. Wow. And Four of Wands. Yeah, they want a successful outcome here. They want to work with you. But I see this person more so wanting to confess how they feel towards you. And with the Eight of Swords that we did see, they could be very stressed out about how to like formulate a message or how to tell you how they feel. And they could be fearing your response. Hmm. It's like they're creating a plan or they're trying to look at it from a realistic point of view, but they do have a lot of emotions for you with the King of Cups. Eight of Cups in reverse. So this could be someone who's having a hard time letting you go or they feel like they're unable to walk away from this situation. So if it is someone that you have history with, just know that you're still on their mind and they're not able to you know, let you go. That's something that they're having a hard time doing. Knight of Cups, okay, so this could be an apology behind that Seven of Cups, King of, okay, okay. So this person definitely wants a new stable beginning with you, but they want to clear up some sort of emotional confusion, or this could even be someone who is wanting to apologize to you for sending you mixed signals or playing some sort of mind games. Because with the Eight of Cups in reverse, they don't want to walk away from this situation, they don't want to let you go. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Instead, they want a new stable beginning. Not to sound too repetitive. Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Empress. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. They hold you on a very high pedestal. Um, and for some of you, when this communication comes in, what they're going to let you know is they're unable to forget about you or let go of this connection. Instead, they want to try again and possibly build on stable grounds. So something that was not that did not work out in the past is becoming very clear to them. Because with the Three of Pentacles, that's like creating a plan on how to work together or come to a mutual understanding. Okay, um, Page of Swords. So this person could be spying on you before this communication, or even if they're speaking to you, just know that they're very curious about you. This could be someone who checks up on your social media. This could be someone who is, you know, again, keeping tabs on you. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands, the lovers and the devil. Yeah, they're starting to realize what did not work out in the past. They also feel like they have a choice to make. What is the Eight of Cups in reverse? The judgment, yeah. They're making a change, guys. They're, make, they're releasing something or they're making a change in their personal life that they feel like is much needed or it's needed in order for them to come uh, towards you. <clears throat> and with the page of swords here i feel like they are planning but it's very like there's there's some sort of strategy involved here um there's also an energy of them not speaking about their plan it's more so just coming forward and offering you something um and 
I feel like the main thing I'm getting here is also someone who wants to be open about how this connection is affecting them or why they're, they feel that they are unable to walk away from it. The judgment card could also be this person waking up to the, you know, their, their, uh, this connection, you know, the depths of their emotions here. What is the ace of pentacles? Yeah, justice card. They're making something right or making something up to you. They want to restore balance in this connection, guys. This person could even be asking to like take you out or they could be sharing some sort of good news with you, something that they've recently celebrated. What is the Page of Swords? This could also be a Libra. Six of Wands. Yeah, wanting, wanting a very successful outcome here. Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. They're really, and Two of Cups, they're, they're starting to realize they still feel very connected to you. They're wanting a new beginning here, but a new beginning that feels more stable. And, they, and the change that they're making is to be more emotionally open with you. Because there's a lot that they're feeling that they want to um, open up about. They feel like they have been suppressing it. With the Page of Swords and the Six of Wands, um, when they do, you know, keep tabs on you, they may feel like you are doing well for yourself. Six of Wands could be a very successful energy or this person could feel like, um, you know, you are, are receiving attention from like a lot of people. You know, you're celebrated by many. So whether this is um, because of your career or just because you're a popular individual, they do feel like you're highly sought after. What is the Judgment card? Two of Cups, yeah. It's like this person's coming in, coming in to pretty much prove their emotions to you and restore balance in this connection. They want to try things again with you, but their approach has changed. What is the Justice card? Five of Wands, yeah. That's someone who doesn't want to give up on the situation. They want to, um, you know, put up a fight almost here. Like they want to fight for this connection. And I will say, guys, with the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Five of Wands, this is someone who could also feel like someone in the external environment has caused an issue with you or within the both of you and they're wanting to clear things up. Like it's someone who wants to fix, you know, the situation or find a solution, um, you know, to some sort of conflict that has already occurred. That's why they're looking at how to do things differently. That's why they're, you know, creating some sort of a plan because they want to come to a mutual um, agreement here and they're very determined with the chariot on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so moving on to Libra. Okay, Libra. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first, and then we'll dive into tarot. So it could be an Aries that has you on their mind. We have Scorpio. Taurus. And Cancer. Okay. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Libra? Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here because they view you as commitment material, Knight of Cups. This is a love offer coming in, guys. Yeah, this is someone who feels like you are very nurturing, very resourceful, but they just view you as someone that they want to commit to with the Queen of Pentacles, almost like ideal partner material here. And with the Knight of Cups, this could be like an emotional confession. Someone who's madly in love with you, who wants to open up. Okay, let's see. Knight of Wands, bottom of the deck here, the Eight of Cups. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. This person could be rushing in after, you know, a, a separation or you having to emotionally detach from the situation. We do have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. But with the Knight of Wands, they're feeling very passionate. It may be communication that you don't anticipate here. Let's see. Temperance, yeah, making peace with the situation, making peace with you. It's like they feel like you guys work very well together. There's, It's almost like they feel getting to know you was a very rare opportunity with the star card. 
Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like they're, they want excitement in this connection again, or they want to feel the way that they did in the beginning of the connection. So if there has been a change or a separation, they're trying to like rekindle a connection that exists. So they feel like the emotions are there, the passion is there. They just need to, you know, um, work on making something up to you or work on bringing back that joy and excitement that you guys initially had. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, yeah, they do sense that you are a bit guarded, but I think that they're very determined to have a new start here with the Ace of Wands and Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands, yeah, this person's very attracted to you, I will say that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah, so it makes sense why they want to make something up to you. This person may have not prioritized you in the past. We have the Queen of Wands and Three of Cups, which could be that this person had a choice between two people. Um, but with the Nine of Pentacles and Two of Wands, they're viewing you as someone who's doing um, really good on your own, someone who is kind of just enjoying your singlehood, and they're wanting to rush in and communicate with you. So I will say there's an urgency to speak to you or to prove to you that there is, uh, they are passionate about you. So what is the Knight of Wands exactly? The Seven of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the Seven of Cups. They feel like you're guarded towards them because of the emotional confusion in the past. It's like even if they want to communicate with you right now, they're going about it in a very lighthearted way. Like, do they want to renew the passion or renew the excitement in this bond? Absolutely. But I feel like they're operating from a space of passion or like, it's very impulsive. And with the Seven of Wands, they're viewing you as someone who is standing your ground or you have set very clear boundaries here. What is the temperance? Six of Cups. Yeah. Bottom of the deck here, we have the uh, Judgment card, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Here's what I will say. This person feels connected to you, but their reasoning for coming in right now is like to see what you're up to. There's a lot of curiosity. Just keep in mind with the Knight of Wands, that is someone who's rushing in with communication. That is, you know, someone who's very passionate, but it, but it could be um, a bit inconsistent. Like they, they want to break the silence between the both of you or they want to prove to you that they are still excited about this connection, passionate about it. But I don't really see cards of commitment. What is the Queen of Wands? For some of you, this could be someone that you had like a short-lived connection with. Six of Pentacles, bottom of the deck here, Eight of Wands. Yeah. It's like, it seems like this is someone who was not making a choice in the past because what they want to do now is, you know, prove something to you right and possibly even give to this connection but showing up in the knight of wands energy is someone who's not able to maintain that um you know energy that they initially come in with so what is the seven of wands the two of wands bottom of the deck here the five of cups yeah, it is someone who is missing you and they're very um, they're very concerned about the future, but there's a lot of uncertainty here, guys. I feel like this is someone who is like rushing in because of how they feel in the current moment. So, of course, if that's something you're looking for, that's fine. But if you're looking for, um, you know, a commitment to be the end result, I don't really see any cards of commitment. I see someone kind of coming in to communicate with you because they miss you. You may find that this is a person who is kind of like in the spur of the moment. What is the Six of Cups? Wow. Ten of Cups. Yep. And we also have the Lovers. Here's the thing, right? As much as they admire you, as much as they have emotions for you with the Ten of Cups and Six of Cups, with the Lovers, they have a choice to make. What they understand about this connection is they can't stay away from you or they always feel drawn to you. But with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups, they may be reminiscing on the, on the connection in the past here. So this could be someone that you were in a higher level of commitment with or maybe you were in a commitment but it was short-lived. Like it wasn't, they weren't able to maintain that energy or there was some sort of mishap that occurred. But what they're realizing is they feel very drawn to you. But when you have the lovers upright, it means a choice needs to be made. Um, bottom of the deck here, the eight of swords. So this could be an individual where they feel like you were very mentally stuck for a while when it came to this connection. And with the three of swords and the death card, they may feel like you put an end to things because of the hurt that was caused. 
So I see this person communicating with you. I do see a lot of passion, attraction, emotions, but I see that also a choice needs to be made. Could be a Gemini. What is the Six of Pentacles? And it's like with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups, because the Six of Cups is a past energy, they could be very, um, like they're right now they're being reminded of what you guys used to share or what you guys had together in the past. And we are in a retrograde, so it's pretty normal for, you know, suppressed emotions to come up. Uh, what is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, Page of Swords. This person may feel like you view them as very, you know, strategic here. But the main thing I see, Libra, is this person wants to communicate with you. They're feeling, they're going to let you know that they feel very drawn to you. They sense that you are a bit guarded because of the past here. Um, and they may bring up a lot about the past in terms of like the positive memories or for example with the six of cups and ten of cups when you guys were in a commitment like a part of them wants to renew the excitement or the the joy that the both of you had in the past but but there's also an inconsistent energy here is what I will say okay so moving on to Scorpio Okay, Scorpio. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first. So it could be an Aries that has you on their mind. Could be a Leo. We have Taurus. And Aries again. Okay. So let's see here. Why is this person thinking of Scorpio? Knight of Swords. So you could be communicating with this person right now. Six of Swords. They're wanting to move to calmer waters with you. There could be some sort of like communication where they're wanting to like make peace with you, make peace with the situation, wanting to move to pretty much like a more calm space. They may even feel like with the Knight of Swords, they spoke on something too soon. Let's see. Why is this person thinking of Scorpio? Empress. They hold you on a very high pedestal. It could be a Libra or a Taurus here, but I do feel Scorpio that this is someone who sees a lot of potential, a lot of growth um, with you. And bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So this is something that they've kept hidden. I will also say Scorpio that this is someone who views you as like they feel like you're not going to be the one to initiate a conversation. It's more so like they are going to put forth the effort or they are going to be the one who's going to express how they feel very attracted to you and they love the way that you carry yourself eight of pentacles yeah someone who wants to put in the work put forth the practical effort here with the hermit i do feel like they have been thinking about this um you know situation in solitude with the eight of cups and the death card you may have walked away from this person in the past and that could be the reason why they feel like you're not going to be the one to like per se initiate a conversation this time around and with the ace of swords they're definitely wanting a breakthrough when it comes to this situation but i see someone who wants to put forth the effort and this is their way of proving to you that they do care or they do see they do want to uh you know uh have growth in the situation Three of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck here, what do we have? Chariot, Temperance, and we have the Hierophant. Yeah, it's someone who wants a commitment with you. They feel very at peace with you, I will say that, um, and they're very determined to move on from any roadblocks. With the Three of Wands, this could also be someone who's very tired of a complacent energy or some sort of like a waiting game. Like they may feel like in this connection, it's very on and off where things start off very well, but then they also hit a point where they kind of pause. Okay, what is the Empress? Wow, Four of Wands. Yeah, this person believes your commitment material because Four of Wands is someone who's thinking about a higher level of commitment here. Stable new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're wanting to provide for you or give to this connection, but there's a lot of information that they're trying to figure out behind the scenes. Like this may be someone who is communicating with you, but they're not asking you so many questions. But the Page of Swords is not really trying to figure out, uh, figure out um, 
what you're curious about by directly, uh, you know, asking the individual, it's more so strategic. So there could be an energy of spying or this person asking like mutual friends about you, you know, watching psychic readings, that sort of thing. But I do feel like they're very curious or they're trying to figure out some sort of information before they come forward. Even if they're speaking to you right now, I don't feel like they are confessing everything that's on their mind. But uh, with the Four of Wands and the Empress, they're definitely looking forward towards a commitment. There could even be some sort of fantasizing going on, like how it would be to have a life with you. What is the Eight of Pentacles? The Lovers. Yeah, this person feels extremely drawn to you. Could be a Gemini. And we also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah. They feel very drawn to you, I will say that, Scorpio, but it's also like they may propose something to you. They may put forth the effort and then ask you, like, like be waiting for a sign from you with the Three of Wands, like, is Scorpio going to meet me halfway? Very, very drawn to you and they can't put their finger on why. They may even feel like the emotions are very intense between the both of you. Because the lovers could be a connection that's extremely intense, like you can't stop thinking about the person or... You know, it's an energy of this person feeling connected to you, even if they're not physically there with you. What is the Three of Wands? King of Swords. Making it very clear, making their intentions very clear. I also feel like this is someone who will be very truthful with you. Like there may be either a truth they want to bring forward or it's just letting me know about their character here. Because bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. So this is someone who will treat you in a very fair manner, equal give and take. Definitely reciprocating the energy that you're putting forward. Yeah, eight of wands. So they're either already communicating with you or they're about to very soon. And they want a commitment here is, is what I see very clearly. What is the four of wands? Look at this, guys. Ten of cups. Yeah. They have a deep desire for you. Even if it's fairly new, Scorpio, believe me, they're already thinking about, like, they're already trying to create a long-term plan here. And they're going to prove that to you through their actions. But I will say with the King of Swords and the Three of Wands, something they'll make very clear is they don't want things to be very on and off. Or they don't want to play any sort of waiting game here. They just want to get things going. What is the Lovers? The Chariot. This person is very determined to win you over. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, Eight of Swords, the world. Yeah, this may be after a period of you going through an emotional loss or needing to release something that no longer, you know, serves you. But I just feel this is someone who is very determined to move things to the next level. What they're thinking about when they think of you is a commitment with you. They're also thinking about how drawn they, like how, how they feel so drawn to you. Like they feel like there's a magnetic pull here. Could be a Cancer. What is the King of Swords? Interesting. Four of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This person may be wondering if you are as invested in them as they are in you. But I also feel like, guys, with the Four of Cups, like, this is someone who is only focused on you. With the King of Swords, they're making, making their emotions, but also their intentions very clear. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. They could be wondering, like, if I offer my cup of love to Scorpio, will they accept it? The high priestess bottom of the deck here the three of cups you, you know what it is this person feels like you're very hard to read scorpio i feel like commitment's definitely on their mind but a part of them feels like okay is scorpio as invested as i am they may feel like they are overthinking the situation or or it's all in their head um, but i don't think that they will communicate that to you and with the high priestess they, they may feel like there's a lot of like either secrecy or an energy of like you're opening up to them, Scorpio, but to an extent. They feel like there is a mysterious energy attached here and they have a lot of questions. That could be the reason why they are trying to figure out, figure you out, if you will, or decode you is the best way for me to explain it. Okay, so moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. So let's see if we can start off by figuring out their zodiac sign. Okay, so it could be a Virgo that has you on their mind. We have Cancer. We have Taurus. And Capricorn. Okay. 
So why is this person thinking of Sagittarius? Let's see. So we have the Fool card on the bottom of the deck here. I split the deck and we have the Hierophant. So definitely could be a Taurus. Um, but what I see here is this is someone who is thinking about a commitment with you. Possibly like new love with the Fool card, but let's see. So why is this person thinking of Sagittarius? Sorry about that, guys. I just dropped a card. Wait one second. Okay, let's reshuffle. Why is this person thinking of Sagittarius? So we have the Seven of Cups, okay, and we also have the Five of Wands. This is definitely someone who doesn't know how to feel right now, which is interesting because we did see the Fool card as well as the Hierophant here. So it's someone, it's like they may have commitment on their mind, but with the Seven of Cups, they may also be very confused when it comes to how to feel. Five of Wands could be, you know, external influences, or there could be the opinion of others that are affecting this person. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Chariot, the Lovers, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's, it's kind of a contradicting energy here, guys. Like, this is someone who wants to work on a connection with you, but there's still a choice that needs to be made. They have commitment on their mind, but it's not like a firm choice that's being made. It's just something they're thinking about. Because with the Seven of Cups coming out as the first card, there's still emotional confusion presence, present. And with the Five of Wands, again, there may be something going on in their environment that is affecting their ability to pursue this connection right now. Hmm. Four of Cups, bottom of the deck here, the King of Cups, the Sun, the Temperance. Well, that makes sense. This may be someone who wants to reconcile with you, but with the Four of Cups, they may feel like your interest is elsewhere or you're still focused on how like things happened in the past. Because how they're viewing you or when they think of you, they feel like you're still holding on to something in the past here, Sagittarius, or their behavior of the past is how you portray them. Like you have your mind made up about how you view them. They're not focused on a new offer. They're more so focused on fixing things with you. Hmm. What's the seven of cups? Why the confusion? Five of cups. Yeah, it's definitely someone that you have history with because now we're seeing the five of cups, which is dwelling in the past. So what's holding this person back from moving forward is the fact that they know that their past actions have contributed to some sort of hurt or conflict between the both of you. They're definitely in their emotions when it comes to you, but I feel like there's also like an energy of not knowing how to feel or feeling so many different emotions at once with the Seven of Cups. That could be when you're thinking about a situation, but you have mixed emotions towards it. Um, what is the Five of Wands? Page of Cups. They may feel like they handled something in an immature manner. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. See, commitment is on their mind. Making something up to you is on their mind, but behind that Three of Swords, which means they know that there's, like, the hurt is still present. Like, to think that the situation could just have, uh, could just work out in their favor, they feel like that wouldn't be a realistic way of thinking about it. And with the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, they want to break through, they want to make something right, but they're aware that you may be frustrated about their past actions. Because even they are dwelling in the past, even they are focused on what did not work. So even though a part of them wants to make a change, a part of them is still very much focused on what they could have done differently. So it's like that, it's, they're in like that middle kind of middle grounds, if you will. That's why I say that it could be a contradicting energy where it's like, I want to move forward. I want to create a change, but I don't know how to let go of something that I'm holding on to from the past. What is the four of cups? Justice. This could also be a case of tables have turned because I will say your lack of interest or the fact that you're not 
um, they're not receiving a reaction from you or you're not paying attention to them is bothering them. And with the Justice card, of course, this could be a Libra that you guys are involved with, but it's like they feel something about this connection is like... Because I'm trying to explain it without sounding confusing, but the the energy that I'm picking up on is they feel something has balanced out in this connection, but they also feel like it didn't work out in their favor. So, like, I wonder if they feel you receiving clarity has, you know, was the right thing, or it has created some sort of balance. But then they feel like you receiving clarity means you're no longer going to speak to them. Like, it's like I I kind of see like a back and forth energy here. What is the Five of Cups? Eight of Wands. Because they're communicating to you, but it's more so about what did not work out in the past. And for some of you, they may feel like if they do communicate with you, it will cause more confusion than what already is. Because what I see here, guys, is it is someone who wants to make something right with you where they feel like you receiving clarity is making you feel better about the situation. But I don't know if it's necessarily making them feel better about the situation. And with the five of wands, like I feel like they could be doing something to receive a reaction from you. Bottom of the deck here, we have the temperance, which is your energy, queen of cups, ten of swords. Yeah, like they know there has been a painful ending, but they still want your attention. They still want you to speak to them. If I'm being completely honest, I think that this is someone who's affected by the fact that they're not receiving a response from you. Because I would like to say that they're happy about the clarity that has, you know, that has been received here on your end. But they also feel like the clarity has contributed to a separation or you not wanting to be in this connection anymore. It's almost like they want control over the situation a little bit here. What is the Page of Cups? Ten of Swords, yeah. Ten of Cups, Tower, the Ace of Pentacles. Because I feel like they're focused on an ending, focused on the past. They want to change with you. They're aware there's some sort of clarity that came in, but they're not so happy about it. That's the best way for me to sum up the reading. And when they think of you, they feel very confused, like they don't know how to feel because a part of them is is like, okay, well, it's a good thing that Sagittarius gained clarity, but then a part of them is like, well, Sagittarius doesn't speak to me anymore. How do I communicate with them, right, and have them change their mind or convince them that I am willing to fight for this connection? It's like, I don't really see cards of commitment. I see cards of like wanting to prove something to you or like an urgency to change your perspective on them. That's what I see. What's the justice card? Yeah, six of wands. Bottom of the deck here, we have the three of swords. Okay, what's the six of wands? Wheel of fortune. Ten of wands. This person is viewing you as someone who's moving forward and they're not happy about it, you know? Um, because that's the main thing that I'm getting here. Like, like even when I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, the Justice card, and the Four of Cups, like they do feel there has been some sort of balance, you know, restored in this connection. But they also feel like you're very determined to move on. This person is more so thinking about you, but also like when they think of you, they think of your perception of them. That's the best way for me to explain it. Okay, so moving on to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign and then we'll dive into tarot. So it could be another Capricorn like yourself that has you on their mind. We have Taurus. Taurus again. Sagittarius. And Leo. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Capricorn? We have the Knight of Wands, split the deck, and we have the Empress. Capricorn, this person's thinking of you because they feel like they did not treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. 
you know, Knight of Wands to the Empress is a very large difference here. This person may feel like you were very grounded. You knew what you wanted when it came to this connection, except they were very inconsistent with you. So when they think of you, they start thinking about their actions and they feel like they were inconsistent. That's what I see here. Could be a Sagittarius or a Libra or a Taurus. Why is this person thinking of Capricorn? The sun, so definitely could be a Leo, and we also have the nine of wands. I think what's being illuminated to this person right now is why you are guarded towards them. This could even be someone who is thinking of you because you have them blocked, so they have no way to, like they have, they don't have access to you at this time. And we have the ten of swords, the page of cups, and the five of wands. This person may also feel that they have handled something in an immature manner with the Page of Cups, but with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords, there could have been a conflict that led to a very painful ending. So your person is replaying a scenario in their mind and what's being illuminated to them is why you have become very guarded towards them or why you currently do not want to speak to them. Okay. The Queen of Swords, yeah. This is someone you've cut ties with, Capricorn. Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. They want to be honest about their emotions, but this, but genuinely behind that, it seems like they're viewing you as someone who's doing better off without them. And with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands, I think that when this person thinks of you, they wish that you were speaking to them. Because there's a blocked energy here or like an energy of you cutting ties where they're like, okay, what's Capricorn up to? Or I wish Capricorn were speaking to me. What is the sun card? The six of swords, bottom of the deck. Yeah, the page of wands. I will say Capricorn, like it's a pretty straightforward message. It's someone who's sitting in regret. That's who, who is thinking of you right now. You know, it's someone who's sitting in regret. They feel like you're moving away. They do feel like you're doing better off without them. Doesn't have to be the truth. This is their perception though. And they wish that you would speak to them. I think that this is someone who is wanting communication from you. Um, they realize how happy you make them, but they also realize what was not working between the both of you in this dynamic. I also feel like this person, like what bothers them is you're very guarded towards them. Like even if you don't have this person blocked, they can tell that you no longer trust them. In the Six of Swords, the swords are in front of her because she's protecting herself. So this person may feel like you have set very clear boundaries and it's bothering them that they cannot see the vulnerable side of you. What is the Nine of Wands? Eight of Wands. So they could be breaking the silence between the both of you or it's someone who's manifesting an opportunity to speak to you. Like for some of you, you could have this person blocked and they're trying to communicate to you, but they're not getting through to you. Because they're very upset about the silence here is what I'm picking up on. Ten of Cups and the Lovers. So this person may feel like they failed to make a choice in the past. And now that you're moving forward, they're very concerned about your silence. But the main thing I'm getting here is like this person wishes that you would trust them again or they feel like like, like what's bothering them is the fact that you have your guard up and you're just like, nope, I'm protecting myself from your energy. I don't trust you. I don't want to hear from you. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords? The Lovers. Okay, it could be a Gemini, bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. They may feel like they took way too long to act on an opportunity here. Um, but I think the main thing that's upsetting them is not only you having your guard up, but the fact that there's some sort of tension between the both of you. So they feel like there is some sort of tension or frustration um, between you know the both of you, but they also feel like because you guys are not speaking about it, it's just something that they have to think about. It's not, it's not really like a, like they can't really be solution oriented because you guys are not communicating. So what is the Six of Swords? Ten of Pentacles, wow. Bottom of the deck here, the star. This person really feels like the connection that they had with you is like extremely rare. This could be someone that you were in a long-term commitment with or that's something you guys spoke about. But what's really standing out to me is this is an individual who feels like they had your trust they had your loyalty they had you know the the a nurturing side of you capricorn and now they no longer have access to that and that's pretty much what's bothering them that's what i'm getting here what's the eight of wands 
Eight of Cups. This person may feel like if they were to communicate with you, nothing would change. Like you would continue to walk away or emotionally detached. What they want to speak about is the separation or the ending between the both of you. But I feel like they may view you as maybe not on the same page or you're more determined to move forward as opposed to make peace with the situation. What's the lovers? The six of cups. Yeah. I mean, they could be returning with communication because they are missing you. They are reminded of you, but it seems that on your end, you don't necessarily trust this individual is what I'm picking up on. And with the queen of swords, you could have your mind made up about the situation as well, because in their energy, they're viewing you as very determined to move forward. And that alone is bothering them because they feel like, again, they don't have access to you. The main thing that's bothering them is the fact that you're not speaking to them and you're upset with them. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so moving on to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first, and then we can clarify with Tarot. Who is thinking of Aquarius? Okay, so we have Cancer. So it could definitely be a Cancer that has you on their mind. We have Capricorn. We have Libra. And Capricorn again. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Aquarius? We have the Wheel of Fortune here split the deck and we have the justice card because they want to make something up to you or they want to restore balance in this connection could this could also be a person who's like out of fork in the road like they're trying to choose a direction to go in but they're definitely wanting to make something right or make something up to you with the justice card okay could be a libra or a fixed sign so another aquarius like yourself leo taurus scorpio okay why is this person thinking of aquarius <clears throat> temperance knight of cups bottom of the deck here we have the queen of swords okay aquarius it's someone who definitely again wants to restore some sort of balance in this connection but this is someone coming forward and being honest about their emotions they are viewing you as a bit detached or they feel like they can't really read you, okay? And behind the Queen of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups and Three of Wands. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, yeah. It's someone who's confessing how they feel to you. They feel very at peace with you um, and they may even feel like there's a lot of potential when it comes to the both of you working together. Queen of Wands, very attracted to you, I will say that. Um, they feel like you have a very bold, confident personality. Judgment, Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who wants um, some sort of stability with you. And with the judgment, they could also be feeling that, like they admire the, they admire you, they look up to you, but there could be a change that they're making within their self though. Like some, some sort of internal change. Like speaking to you may, you know, it's like making them view things in a different light or it's making them want to alter something about their self. Okay, uh, could be a Sagittarius. Uh, what is the Temperance? five of wands this person like they want to fight for this connection here guys i feel like this is someone who's also trying to stand out from the competition five of wands could be read as competition also um and bottom of the deck the tower the nine of swords and the ace of wands yeah this person wants to offer you a new beginning they they feel like you make them very excited but there's like a nervous energy with the nine of swords like what if things fall apart or what if something doesn't work out the way that I want it to. But I do feel like they're very, they become very nervous when they think of you because they have a lot of emotions for you. That's what I'm getting at. Um, what is the Knight of Cups? Six of Wands. Yeah, like it's something about either you receiving a lot of attention or this person feels like you're very attractive and, you know, you're highly sought after. They do have emotions for you, but there's like a sense of feeling nervous or a sense of fear of, you know, if I express myself, will things fall apart? Or if I express myself, how will Aquarian respond? It's like that nervous energy that you have before you tell someone that you like, you like them or like you like them more than a friend or you want something more. And I feel like this person, like they, they love when you give them attention also. 
not just because you receive attention from other people, but they feel like you make them feel on top of the world here with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. What is the Queen of Wands? Yeah, Ace of Swords. They want to be truthful here. Two of Cups about their emotions. Yeah, guys, this is someone who feels very connected to you, and it's like it's like their emotions are building up, but also like their the nervous energy or the anxious energy is building up also because they want to just tell you how they feel. Okay, what is the Queen of Wands? Wheel of Fortune. This could be fairly new here, Aquarius. Yeah, Hierophant, the star, there's your energy. They feel like this commitment um, or, or this uh, bond here has a potential for a very, very stable commitment. They also feel like you're like like getting to know you or being with you would be a very rare opportunity. They view you like they put you on a very high pedestal. They view you as someone that they, um, you know, wished for or manifested. Like they feel like you're an ideal partner. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I see things working out in your favor. This is someone who's going to be very honest about their emotions. What is the Five of Wands? Three of Pentacles. Could be someone that you've met at work, but what they're thinking about is how to, you know, come to a mutual agreement with you, how to be realistic about the situation. They have a lot of emotions for you, but they're trying not to operate from just a space of emotions. They're trying to be practical as well. Yeah, the Sun card. You make this person extremely happy. Death, nine, death card, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Here's what I see. Like you make this person, first of all, you make this person extremely happy, but they could have recently went through like an ending, um, you know, so this could be like an emotional loss or something that they had to release because we're seeing the death card, but we did see the judgment card earlier as well. And with the nine of cups and king of cups, this person wants to be honest about how emotionally fulfilled they feel around you. Yeah, for some of you, this is like an emotional outpour on the horizon. What is the six of wands? Could be a water sign where they're operating from a space of emotions okay so we have leo energy again with a strength card yeah communication after a period of holding back even if this person has been remain they have been you know like remaining very composed for instance they are not able to fight the urge to like hold back from you they have a weak spot for you knight of swords the two of pentacles seven of swords the hanged man yeah, they want to come forward, but I feel like the, like there could be some sort of strategy here. Because the Seven of Swords could be like when you're creating a plan, but you're not being all the way upfront about it. But with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I see someone who is figuring out what is the right thing to say. What is the Wheel of Fortune? I feel like this is something fairly new, though. We have the King of Swords, bottom of the deck here, the Justice. Ten of Swords, Aces. Yeah, this is someone who feels connected to you. For those of you, if it's not someone who's barely new, there could have possibly been an ending here, but they want to break through. They want to explore this connection again. I just see someone wanting to confess to you about their, like, like an emotional confession coming, like they're coming forward with an emotional confession, but they're a little bit nervous to like hear your response. And the King of Swords doesn't mean that you are completely detached, you know, from the situation, but they do feel like you are operating from a very logical space. And this person has a lot of emotions for you. I see them being open about it. And um, this could be after a period of holding back or trying to remain very uh, composed about the situation, like not giving away too much, um, you know, information or trying to like, maybe it's clear this person has emotions for you, but I don't think you know the depths of their emotions as of yet. Okay, so moving on to Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So let's see if we can figure out their zodiac sign first and then we can clarify with tarot. So it could be a Leo that has you on their mind. Could be a Virgo. We have Taurus, Leo again, and Sagittarius. Okay, so why is this person thinking of Pisces? High Priestess. Okay, they feel like there's some sort of mystery about you. So they could be intrigued by your mystery. They feel like you know more than you show. Split the deck, the lovers. This is someone who 
feels very drawn to you, but they can't really put their finger on why they feel drawn to you. Again, could be another Pisces like yourself, potentially a Cancer or a Gemini. Okay. So why is this person thinking of Pisces? Let's see. Judgment. They want to change in this dynamic. This could also be someone who feels like they're waking up to this connection or how they feel towards you. Because the judgment could either be a change or like a wake-up call, like a realization. We have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands. This person wants to, like what they want is a commitment. So you could be on the receiving end of an emotional confession or someone admitting to you that, yes, this is what I want, a commitment, a higher level of commitment moving forward. Okay, it could be a Scorpio also for some of you. The Six of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Cups. There could be an age gap here, but what I see is someone who feels very connected to you and they feel like the conversations between the both of you kind of just flow, like nothing feels forced. So this person may even um, have communicated to you that they are, like they feel like you guys have shared past lives together or like things with you just feel very smooth and nothing feels forced and they can authentically be their self. So we have the three of swords, okay, bottom of the deck here, the hermit. So six of cups could also indicate that you have a past with this person. We have the three of swords and the hermit on the bottom of the deck with the four of swords. Okay, so this person has been gaining a lot of insight when there was a when there was a pause in this relationship. So they have emotions for you and things could have been very on and off, but they're wanting to create a change. So it could be like wanting more stability here or realizing that they feel connected to you, but wanting to heal the hurt that is present. What is the judgment? Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, they desire you, but they're tired of holding back. It seems like this is someone who's going to be upfront and honest about the fact that they want a commitment with you. Again, even if there was hurt in the past here with the Three of Swords, with the Four of Pentacles, they have been held back in thinking about the situation, but they're ready to make the change with the Judgment being the first card. You may notice that there is a major shift in this dynamic, like someone you have emotions for coming together. You're coming together with them. Because this is someone who has emotions for you, but they weren't honest about it in the past. Or in the past, there was hurt caused, and now they want to come together. But I do see that they are speaking to you or reaching out to you after a period of holding back. So I feel like this is a connection where there was a lot of on and off, or as of currently, you guys, like, there has been a pause or a separation. Yeah, they want to make things right with you. What is the Six of Cups? The Emperor. Take accountability for their actions. I also feel like this is someone who wants to show up as, you know, in control, someone who can, um, like a person of their word, like someone who keeps their word, following through on their promises here. And I feel like it's taking a lot for this person to be honest about their emotions or open at least about their emotions, because with the emperor, that could be someone who is a bit, um, you know, rigid or a bit, uh, you know, composed, you know, they have an image to maintain that sort of thing. Yeah, Ace of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Devil. So it's someone who wants a new beginning with you, but in the past year, this, there was definitely some sort of in and out behavior, inconsistency. And with the Devil as well as the Judgment, they could be releasing something that no longer serves them. What is the Three of Swords? What caused the hurt? Two of Pentacles. The juggling, the back and forth, not really uh, the inability to make a choice here. And with the star, it's like they're waking up to this connection or they're realizing how rare, rare this connection is. With the two of swords, six of swords, yeah, nine of wands. It's like they, they understand that there was confusion in the past. They understand that there was a, like um, indecisive behavior that affected this bond. But now they're becoming very clear on what they want. And we have the ten of cups. We did see the four of wands. And it's someone who desires a commitment with you. What is the ten of cups? Look at this guy's temperance. It seems like this is someone who wants to return back to you because they realize that like they're starting to understand the power of your absence. Or maybe you feel like it took a separation for this person to realize uh, or wake up to this connection. 
Because with the Temperance and the Ten of Cups, it seems like there's a connection that already exists and this person wants to make peace with it. So they still feel connected to you and you guys could have been in a higher level of commitment in the past here. But with the Temperance, they're like after a pause or a separation, they're trying to make something up to you, come together, you know, make peace with the situation. What is the Emperor? The Moon. Bottom of the deck here, what do we have? The Ten of Swords, yeah. So what could have caused an ending was a lack of clarity or something that was hidden. But what I see is suppressed emotions resurfacing and furthermore, it's making this person want to confess how they feel towards you. What's the moon? The Six of Wands, they want a successful outcome here. What's hitting from you is this person actually really wants your attention right now. So when they speak to you, they may be like they may say something that will really grab your attention or something that you don't um, you know, expect. It could even be that they're sending you signs right now, whether it's through social media or like hinting things at you because they want your attention. But they're doing it in almost like a discreet manner is what I what I sense. What is the two of pentacles? Okay, what is the Two of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Okay, what else wanted to come out? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? The Five of Swords, and we also have the Four of Cups that wanted to come out here. Okay, so Scorpio, Scorpio, where did I get Scorpio from? This could be a Scorpio that you guys are involved with, but Pisces, what I'm getting here with the um, King of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Swords, as well as the Four of Cups, this could be someone who was very nonchalant in the past or not able to offer you stability, stability at least the stability that you were seeking in this connection. With the Eight of Wands, I see this person not only communicating with you, but um, even like trying to almost like, like they want your attention or they want to, a reaction from you, but they could be doing this in a very discreet way. So I feel like the communication could start off very unexpected. Um, and it's definitely someone who is very nonchalant in the past or um, not really putting forward the practical effort. And now they're wanting to prove something to you. But what I what I will say is they're very aware of the fact that how they treated you in the past was not fair, but they're making some sort of a change in order to become closer to you. But I definitely feel like it's someone you have history with, with the Six of Cups. Like, and the Ten of Cups, you guys could have been in a commitment, but maybe you're in a period of separation and this person wants to come together with you. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. This person could have, um, could also communicate to you that they were not able to pursue this connection because they were not stable. King of Pentacles in reverse could be someone who is like unemployed or they just don't feel stable on their own. With the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, there could have also been conflict between the both of you about, um, you know, the fact that there was like a nonchalant behavior from one end or you feel like you were investing in the situation more than you were receiving from it. But I see someone who is wanting to prove their love to you, more so open up to you emotionally. And it's because they have you know, woken up to the connection here. There's a lot that they have realized in a period of, you know, complacency or in a period where this connection was at a standstill. Okay. So my wonderful Pisces, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.